As a tech lead, how generally I used to deliver any enterprise application or solution. Let me tell you as a story format. First, I get the business requirement, understand it thoroughly, identify the required technical components like standard APIs, data sources, real-time event involvement, background job requirement, complexity of interfacing requirement, complexity of extension requirements, user interfaces, user actions, user security requirement like user authentication and authorization, then application session management requirements, application scaling requirements, all this. Then convert functional requirements to high level technical design. Not like a 10 or 20 page document, but simplified technical overview with all the related technical features and maybe with high level data modeling as well. And create the high level architecture with technical components that I already identified earlier. Now it's time to implement the solution or the application. If it's a medium or high complex app, I generally give it to three developers. Like one back-end developer and two front-end developer to deliver, to deliver the application a solution in a faster mode. And of course, I generally involve myself at every stage of the development. Then I create the Git repo and ask the developer to start working in corresponding technical features. Developer starts developing those assigned features in Business Application Studio and push it into their own feature-specific branches in remote Git repo after the local testing. Developer either inform me or I get automatic notification after developer pushing the code into remote git repo. Then I merge the feature specific branch into main or master branch after reviewing the code. And whenever I put the code into master branch, it automatically getting deployed into BTP, Cloud Foundry, Dev Sub Account and Spaces. And if you are wondering how, let me tell you that as well. CI/CD pipeline where we already have the job setup which generally being called from github webhook and when the code reaches to the CI/CD pipeline it gets automatically built like how you generally do the same manually using the MBD build and then we have the pre-configured deployment sub account and space like where to deploy the build code that is generally the dev sub account and then we already have the setup in CI/CD to hand over the build code to TMS that is transport management system from there it reaches to the next environment like QS hub account TMS node and when the build code automatically uploaded into QA node we can either import the import that means like deploy it manually or as batch schedule and after the QA test it goes to the prod sub account and space through the TMS route in a similar process and in every deployment process, we generally use alert notification to get what is getting deployed, when any code getting deployed, and even if deployment is being successful or failing. Every info I get email or Microsoft Teams alert notification automatically. So, if you like this approach, please feel free to copy the same in your project. And if you need any help regarding your BDP development process, let me know. Thank you. Bye.